Today's video is actually inspired by Miss Ye. She's an office worker from China and she posts these really hilarious videos where she's cooking all these ridiculous meals in the office using only office supplies. She also does really crazy stuff like cooking Peking duck with a magnifying glass and making cotton candy with a electric drill. I don't know, as I was watching it, I was just thinking this is like just ridiculous, it's impossible. But you know what? Today we're going to give it a try and see if it actually works. So for this one, I'm going to be making egg rolls aka Tanjuan. I'm really excited because it actually involves hair color. So let's start with making the mixture first. Some flour, some water. So far it looks like that. So I'll first pour into a glass. Very unhygienic. Oh. This is not mine. So it was washed before this but still gross. Yeah, I'm very very tempted to tong my hair right now. It's like it's there, it's just there. I, I need to do it. Okay, no no no, it's for cooking egg rolls. Okay, I think it's, it's hot. Right now, I am having difficulty seeing how this would ever be removed. Also, I didn't do a very good job with the flour, so <laughs> it's like very diseased. Hey, it smells nice! Hey, faster cook lah! How can you be so slow in cooking an egg when you have cooked my skin like a million times so thoroughly? So the bottom part is starting to turn brown, but the top part is still a little bit raw. I feel like this hair color is ruined for life. Okay, so it has cooled down, so I'll try to remove it now. It fucking cannot be removed. Dude, it cannot be removed. There's no way. I think maybe there needs to be oil in here. I guess I can eat it like that. It's a pity because it actually tastes nice. Okay, so that did not work out. This time around, I'm gonna coat this hair color with a bit of oil. And I'm also gonna add a bit of oil into the egg. The good news is it's a bit less lumpy now. Okay, let's just hope that this time around it just comes out. Oh, it's coming off! It is definitely coming off. <gasps> Miss Yeah! Oh my gosh, she's freaking amazing. Are you looking at this? I created an egg roll with a freaking hair color. Mmm, it's good. Crispy, it's eggy. It's not terrible. I cannot believe I did this. Hey guys, guys, wanna try? Egg roll, eh? Oh, she take a huge bite, yeah. It's not bad. Right? <laughs> this is how you make your office like uh, co-workers love you by making hair colour egg roll. Alright, so I'm making a waffle now. Shit, how does she do this without the boss firing her? There's just no way. Sugar and then a bit of oil. So let's go on with the flour now. And then add some water. Okay, you know what? It kind of looks a bit doughy right now. Okay, I got my dough. So to make the waffle shape, Miss Ye uses a keyboard and here I have with me a really filthy keyboard which I'm going to put cling wrap on and then put the dough on to make the waffly shape. <gasps> hey, that, that kind of looks like a waffle! It kind of does! So what I have with me here is a good old, what's this, hot water boiler flask thingy. Electric kettle. Oh, okay, electric kettle. <laughs> what did I call it? So what I have with me here is an electric kettle. You also need to have a hair dryer. What I have to do is put a dough on a wax paper and put it into the electric kettle. Put the hair dryer in like this and cook it. Which is to me is very very unhygienic. I don't know, this fucking like hair dryer promises to have healthy scalp and hair and it has like nano care in it. So it's probably gonna spray a lot of nano care into my waffle. I feel like this entire thing will just burn and it's very very like scary. And then in the meantime, this, right? All that happened was the waffle got flown to one side. Oh my god! Hey, the bottom is cooked there! And it's like hard! Oh my god, oh my god! So the waffle has sort of puffed up into a ball. Now it looks like a Chinese New Year pastry. I am going to put it in for a little bit longer. I might actually eat it. And you know what? It be it's beginning to smell a bit nice. <gasps> it's hard. Like it's not like rock hard but it feels like a really inexperienced baker baked a piece of bread. It actually worked. It's cooked. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised and you know what? I'm actually going to try to eat it. Let's see the inside. The texture is definitely not like a waffle. It's not spongy or soft enough. It feels more like a bread actually. Yeah, it could be the recipe. It's not bad eh? I mean, it's unoffensive. It's not 
terrible. Wow, Miss Ye, yeah. Ye, yeah, you, you're amazing. Everybody else, come eat. Office, office people. Hey, you too. Want to eat? We use this to cook. Is it good? Not too bad, actually. Mm, right? Office report and everything. It's a freaking amazing, Sha. Ah, wow, you know, man, hair dryer there. Oh my god, yeah, hair dryer. Forgot to tell her, cook with hair dryer. <laughs> Don't tell her. Shh. So now I'm gonna make popcorn in the office. I have everything that I need here with me a bowl, an empty can, candle, a knife, popcorn kernels. It comes in a bag that's microwavable, which begs the question why am I not putting it into the office microwave? But there's no fun in that. And to light the fire, you can use matches or a lighter, I guess. Four cups metal thingy. I don't know how to describe this. So the first step to do is to actually cut a little hole or a little window in my tin can. Open it up so it has a little flat. So I'm just adding the popcorn in now. What I've done is to make this little arrangement here where I will be putting this metal thing on top of four identical mugs and with my candle in the middle. And my can will be on top of the candle. And the popcorn is supposed to pop there. So the idea is that when the popcorn pops, it's supposed to fall into the bowl like that. So. I don't have very high hopes for it. As usual, I always don't trust Miss Ye. Alright. Beautiful. Hey, the butter is starting to melt. That's nice. Oh, 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 oh. The oil is starting to sizzle. Oh, oh. I think it might pop soon. Okay, nothing looks like it's like fluffy and white yet. Oh my god, this is so exciting! I can't wait for it to pop! Hurry up! The popcorn didn't pop just now, so I've decided to add a little bit more candles. And this time around, I'm going to add a little bit of oil in as well. Okay, talk about huge ass flame. Here we go. Okay, it's definitely sizzling right now. Hey, hey, is that a pop? Oh, oh, it has popped! Oh, oh! It's spraying me a little bit, so I'm gonna see up a while. The bowl is not doing a good job of catching it at all. Wow, wow! Oh shit, shit, shit! Should we stop this now? Okay, we've got popcorn, guys. You know what? Let's try just eating this then. It smells pretty good. I'm gonna give it a try. It tastes like cooking oil. I guess the bottom line is that it did work but firstly, it makes a huge mess. It's very oily. I don't think your colleagues will be very happy with you doing this stunt in the office because it might set off the freaking smoke alarm. Just do what regular people do which is to put it into the freaking microwave. So we've come to the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and as usual, please download the Click Network app because if you download the Click Network app, I'll do something really awesome for you guys. Have you downloaded it? Yeah, do it now. Okay, you have? She can see me. <laughs> can you act like you're scared? Boo! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! Success! All for you guys. Oh <laughs> wow, your scared voice damn lousy. She'll be like, ah! <laughs>